Caleb, what's this experience been like here for you? I know you, you, you've been around, you've seen some stuff. What, what's this yeah. season here been like for you, the experience? Um, it's honestly just been a blessing, you know. Uh, it went by way faster than I thought it was uh, going to go. It kind of just comes up on you real quick. But, um, man, the experience has just been unbelievable. Just basically coming from USC and just comparing it to that, like, it's, it's been an unbelievable experience. And, and, you know, the fans here are amazing. And, yeah, it's just been a blessing. How does uh, how does how's preparation affected momentum? Maybe the mood of the team, knowing that this isn't the end, that there's a bowl ahead after this. Momentum, like how we practice, or like, yeah. Um, honestly, it's it's been really the same. You know, we've been preparing the same. Like we we've always have. Um, I don't think it's really changed. I think we're just excited to play in a bowl game, but um, it hasn't really changed. Like, I mean. The morale would be higher, and you know, excited to play in a bowl game, but um, hasn't really changed any preparation or anything like that. But yeah. Caleb, you and, and Valus played uh, at USC for a couple seasons, and yep. y'all talked at all this week about this being your playing your final senior day together, but it not being there and it being here to, at this at Tennessee. Uh, well, I've I mean, I haven't really talked to him about that yet, but. Uh, it's, it is crazy, um, you know, um, coming from USC, like, that's, that's my guy, but we ever, I, ever, I honestly, even myself, haven't really thought about it, like, I'm still in my day-to-day -day grind of everything, but, uh, um, no, I, I mean, I haven't really talked about it, but it, it is crazy, it's, it's crazy how, fa how fast it's gone. I know you still got two games left, but have have you put thought towards what's next for you? Are you going to pursue the next level or move on to something else? Uh, yeah, that's. I mean, that's my my goal and my dream. You know, so I'm, I'm gonna do the best I possibly can to like make it. You know, whatever whatever it is, the next level. I don't even care. Like whatever it's like UDFA guy. Like yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do whatever. Um, that's really my goal and my dream for sure. Yes. Caleb, everybody always talks about the seniors impacting the young guys, but there's a core here, guys that have been here for a long time. How much of some of those senior leaders, the Butlers, the Jacksons, impacted you, even though you're a little bit pretty experienced as well? Yeah, that's a good question. I think I've learned so much as a, a player from a lot of those seniors. A lot of those guys do things the right way. And they are great leaders and great players. And I've, I feel like I've elevated my game just being around those guys in that room. And Coach G, too, like he's brought my game to another level. And it's it, like this is the first time I, I would think like like in a while where I've, I've like really felt my growth like as a player and been like proud of it. Um, compared to the last two years, like I, I've dealt with like a lot of injuries the last two years and stuff. And um, this is like the first year I've, I've felt like my growth as an individual, but a lot of that has to do with a lot of those guys and seeing like the right way, how they work. Um, yeah. So the back. We've been asking every player what they're thankful for as Thanksgiving approaches. <laughs> so what are you thankful for? Uh, I'm thankful for my family. Uh, to be able to play football and yeah, I mean that's it <laughs> for my family. Wes, Vince, Caleb, do you do you remember sort of you know where you were or at least your your thoughts when you found out that you could play an extra season? You know when that became a possibility and and when that happened, how quickly did did you think about well I might go somewhere else? Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I honestly, when COVID happened, I didn't even think we we're gonna have a season that year. I was, I was literally at my house, and then we got like a text in a group chat like a week before, like you're playing, and like I was, like I wasn't ready at all. But I think like throughout the last uh, season, like the COVID year, it definitely like made me think like um, 
like what do I want to do after football, what do I want to do with all this. So I think I think uh, throughout that COVID year, like I definitely give it a lot of thought and like by the end, knowing I had another year, like I wanted to transfer out and I really wanted to come to an SEC school and just experience like the culture and stuff. But yeah, I would say like progressively through the COVID year. A couple quick things. You mentioned how the last couple of years you've dealt with some injuries. Yeah. How much healthier or better do you feel late in the year this year? Oh, it's a hundred times better. <laughs> it's, I mean, I honestly, I don't, I don't know what it is, but maybe I got lucky this year or something, but my body feels so much better com compared to the years prior. I honestly, I, I don't think. It's probably not luck. Honestly, our, our strength staff does an unbelievable job, like taking care of our bodies and um, giving us the proper volume. And I would say that has to like be a big part of why I'm healthy and just load management and everything. Yeah, I was going to ask you that follow up. The, yeah, the rotation of D linemen, uh, all that. You think that's a contributing factor as well? Oh, 100 percent. Absolutely. It's, I mean, at USC, they didn't really do that at all. They didn't really rotate. It was like either you're the starter or you're not really playing. And that's kind of how practice was, too. The ones got like 90% of the reps, and then the, the twos would get like 10%. But um, it's, yeah, it's completely different. And like sort of play, play alongside him and practice next to him? Uh, yeah, Matt. He's a, he's a great player, and I think you asked like about like the leaders of whatever the team. He's he's a great leader. He's a great player, and um, there's a lot of things like I could copy off of his game. And uh, yeah, but he, he's just overall a great teammate, and it's been fun. All all the seniors, all all the guys, all the D line, and it's been fun playing with them. And I'm for sure I'm for sure gonna miss you know being here and stuff for sure. So yeah.